stand up to me right now, dude. Get out of here. We're not coming in that room. Come, Come in that room, see what happens. Let's just get through tonight. All right, Daniel? Have a good day tomorrow. I've been having good days, man. Well, you're the only one that feels that way. It's all good. It's a fallacy. Not everyone is mad. It's just you two. What'd you say? Uh, I heard that. Somebody's got to take care of this kid right now. Stand up to me right now, dude. Get out of here. We're not coming in that room. Come You're in back. that room, see what happens. You both are fake people. Now, what's the matter? I'm doing it. just provoking me. I'm not uh, provoking anything. Yeah, you are. Now he's putting my job in jeopardy. How did I put your job in jeopardy? Because I'm going to get kicked off this boat. Yeah, you're calling us names. You're calling stuff? me a name, dude? Come outside this boat on a dock and say that to my face. Um, just calm down. Bobby, what have you done here? Oh, That's all his. You're coming in here tonight. This is a side I've never seen of Bobby, um, that I never want to see again. Bobby's a big guy, you know? Goodness knows what could happen. You guys start up so much stuff. No, you do. No, 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 no. no. The big deal tonight is what are we going to do with Bobby and Daddy? Yeah. Can we put him in a guest cabin? Yeah. We'll have to deal with this tomorrow. Plus, a good sleep right now. Yeah. If you don't stand up to a bully, you will always be bullied for the rest of your life. In order to get respect, you need to give respect. And Brian doesn't do that. I'm just over it. We gotta switch rooms, dude. I understand. I'm done with him. Let's just get he's, through the charter. Let's get through this. Close, bro. Let's take some time to you chill. Sleep in a guest cabin or something. Like... Shut up, Tiffany. I'm just trying to sleep. Then stay in your room. I am in my room. <laughs> Close your door. Can you just keep it down, please? The oldest person in your department is most immature. He was heated. No, but people are trying to sleep. Yeah, no, I understand where you're coming from. Morning. Morning. I like the outfit. Thanks, yeah, I know, right? Last night was not cool, man. You're an absolute liability. No, no, because yeah, any, anytime something happens, it's all on you. Yesterday, you were there, bro. You're like, oh, there's, there's, oh, is that Daniel? What are you doing? Oh, oh, you look like this. an idiot. I'm going to go to the captain. Got you on the Dude, you're such a child. You're such a Daniel, child. Daniel, you have no idea what's going oh, on. Oh, my God, shut your bamboo and face. Now the zoo called. The monkey wants his ass back. You're dead to me. You're I just, you know what? Too. I hooked you. I looked out for you so no, you much. Did, yes, bro. I did. No, you did. Yes, I did. The only person we'll you see, look we'll out see. for. No, we'll see. We'll the only see person you we'll look out for is that buddy of yours there. I'm out, bro. You think you're ever gonna get a job after this? Oh, absolutely. I'm not getting into this with you this morning. Go up and get to work. All my anger, everything that's been inside of me, I just let it all go and I unleash. Get me started. I'm out. Good morning. Good morning. So, what has today brung us? Um, there's been another altercation between Daniel and I. I think that Danny doesn't have any respect for authority or for the chain of command. He's a potentially hazard to himself or to other crew members. Daniel. Yeah. Come with me. Captain, let's talk to you.